we will power just a little bit so that you don't hear that uh, you know wind sound um, so we are about to hit the road but let me show you a few buttons here so steering is power steering uh, the indicator and light is over here again sensors all over um, we have the water so this is what I was telling you about when I pull it like this I just need to move and you see the water will be dripping like that it's that unique and that cool okay so close that and then we have the five speed gear lever uh, 13524 reverse now here is where you need to understand so uh, first one is a 12 volt uh, place you can insert a car charger so the driver can charge his phone this is for the AC which we will demonstrate later on and then this is for you know danger hazard so I'm gonna pull it on <laughs> something like that okay so this is for the fog lamp when I do that and then we are outside you will see the fog lamp now this is for the hazard you know it okay now this so I'm gonna twist it up and then Dan will show you um, behind so three two one are we ready so I've twisted it up you can see what powers on is the long uh, the long the LED strip then when I twist it down like this, it's the blue reading lamp that powers. So since it's during the day we don't need, let's get onto the road and tell you more about the force. So simple, clutch in or sit. I have put it to my test uh, and I believe as a driver one of the first things that you should do, you should always do is check on the seat. Is it to the position that you will drive the vehicle without, with, with ease or you will struggle to drive. So clutch in, on to first gear break down and then we simply ease off very simple it's power steering of course we are getting into a road junction we don't want to you know have issues with our good friends that would avoid us so that's the first gear the uh, second gear This vehicle has a total weight capacity of about about four tons four to five tons yeah four tons to be exact and you should not be worried about you know what happened so we're on tarmac let's get to hear how it it sounds on tarmac take the bump and then that here struggle to break when you're with the force. There we are. Let's try and uh, there are a few bumps ahead and then we will definitely now hit some good speed. Let's see. Let's test how, how it performs on the highway in terms of um, the speed that we can do. Because again this vehicle comes already pre-installed with a speed limiter so there are things that I cannot I cannot achieve even if I wanted. Because again, it's uh, it's meant for a public service vehicle. I think it's just respectable that the vehicle does 80 kph. So I think we've got it for good stretch. The gears are quite smooth. Yeah, you 
actually think that the vehicle wants a seat, but unfortunately we we do not do that here. We don't have it. And the thing with this road, along the Olorit Kipkaren road, um, the thing with this road is that. is we have enough bumps so so let us know what do you think about the force what what are the practical applicability that you can you can use the force for and that's why at Trucks and Tech we seek to give you that information for testing. So we're almost with e -tech. Let's see what, what it does when we get to e -tech. Yes, it, it, it always does that like duck sound because you know I cannot pass e tech APH no matter what I want. So it's ideal for PSV, you know. Uh Mefungwa. Or let's say it has a pre uh, pre-installed speed limiter. Yeah, so let us know in Trucks and Tech. Uh, what else do you think we can use the force for? I mean, we demonstrated it as a school van, demonstrated it as a PSV, demonstrated it as a HAS. I mean, what else can we use the force for? Because we also have versions that are doing cargo transport. So, I'll let you enjoy the drive, chance and tech. Let's look at the road.